Hello, hello. Welcome to part two. Let's talk this over a touch because, you know, let's kind of keep it centered if we can. Okay. We were lamenting the fact that I had to cut into this and that I wouldn't get the sharp but I can still do jaggedy little jaggedy things, you know, and I don't have to go along. <clears throat> I don't have to follow the rays either. I can get the effect I want without here. This is how I can show you what I'm doing. Um, I can get the effect I want without following each ray. I don't have to cut each spindly little cute ray. I can get a burst effect by just doing this. That's what I'm telling myself. And they don't have to be equidistant. It's just, they don't. They can be shallow, they can be um, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. We all know what I'm trying to say anyway. Um, let's do a, we can just do a bursting shape that doesn't follow each individual ray. You know, you know. We can do it. We can work it out. We can work it out. Okay. But the sun's rays need to be bursting where they feel that they need to be bursting. So we'll do longer on that one. I can do longer on the shorter one. I can do shorter on the shorter one. I can do long and short and short and long, okay? I can do angled. I can do wonky. I can do any dang thing I want. I can do two within one pointy thing, like this. See, two are in that pointy thing. Okay. I didn't ask Michael, what what are your birthday plans? And they'd ask, submit a query and get an answer. Can't wait till he comes back. That's a definite wonky shape, but I'm going with it because it's the impact I want. So there you go. Hey, I played with this paper a while ago. I think this is Vicky Booten paper. Doesn't it look like it? I think it is. And I could even use this on here. This was probably a year ago. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I could do something with this paper that I kind of, I had my play time and then I'm like, yeah, I'm not using it today. Well, today could be the day. It could be the day. Let's actually put this back here because if I start tearing on that, this stuff that's dry, it might have pebbly, we might have a rainfall of that stuff. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get it on the layout. So once upon a time I played, I'm going to keep this too, because you never know, I might use that too. Once a time, once a ton of time, really Jules? Once upon a time I played and I came up with this, I set it aside and here I am maybe potentially using it and potentially loving it. So never give up on yourself. Even when it looks bleak, don't do it. Keep going. You probably come up with someone you, something you're like, wow, how the heck? Cool. And you'll find your inner genius, you know? Just play. That's what I say. Play along. And if no one else thinks it's genius, who cares? If you love it, that's all that matters. Okay. Let's, I think I might want... Let's, here, I'm going to tear up a little bit more of that. Sorry, I'm doing it off screen because I don't want to reapply that paper. And I can make it. Hold up. <laughs> Trust me, I'm tearing paper. Wouldn't you like to see? Let me, I kind of don't want the white border there. That's, that's cool. Look, I have splotches everywhere. I have a splotch here, here, and here. Okay, I need some agua, por favor. Mm-hmm. Okay, by the way, usually this ring I wear here, it's a Taylor Swift ring, my Taylor Swift ring, I'll explain it to you sometime, but usually I wear it here, my hands are so swollen from all the prednisone that now I can't get over that knuckle, isn't that amazing, amazing, but prednisone's miraculous when you got a migraine that won't quit, 
if, if it weren't for prednisone, I would not be in the genie bottle playing. I would be lying in bed with the windows closed, shades closed, and suffering and not doing anything. So thank God for prednisone. I'm not complaining. No, I'm not. Okay. All right, get this, get this. Okay. By the way, the other, yesterday I was making a video and I was going into a story, launched into a story and left it right in the middle and never returned. It's a classic Julie thing. So if you'd like to hear the remainder of that story, tell me, I'll, I'll give it to you. So, um, I was talking about my brother and our antics when we were little. His daughters had written me and they wanted me to tell them stories of when their dad was bad. And I had replied that I don't think their dad was ever bad. I was the one. I was the one that was up in trouble up in here, up in here, you know, mostly. I was the troublemaker. So I was like, ah, your dad wasn't wasn't to my knowledge bad that I can recall much. And, uh, <clears throat> and they were like, and they were, I told them a couple things. No, no, I didn't tell them a couple things. I couldn't think of anything. I told them a couple things on myself where I was bad. So, um, they laughed. I got their letter and they loved the stories, but they were like, what did they say? They wanted to know, oh, they were like, tell us about this and tell us about that. I kind of like that. So, do I want to ink those edges or no? Probably not because these edges are white and not ink. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that. But you know what I could do? Um, <clears throat> hold up. Before I ink that, I'm going to pull this here. I'm going to put. Watch me not finish the story on this video on this day either. Classic. That's what's going to happen. I won't. I won't finish the story. Um. So, um, they asked me a couple things on, um, in this one, they're like, I told them a story about when I broke a table and Doug put it back together so I wouldn't get killed <laughs> when my parents got home. So, yeah, I am going to tear this. So, I kind of want this section and I don't really know why. Probably doesn't matter. Does that say bonfire? <laughs> That'd be perfect. Um, cool. Um, I think I'm going to stick down here. So, anyway. Then, so I had told them in the last letter when they want to know stories of when their brother, my brother, their dad was bad. And I, I let him down because I said, I, I don't really think he was. However, <laughs> your aunt, your aunt was bad. Your brother, your dad rescued your aunt numerous times. And, um, I told him the story of, I was in the living room doing gymnastics when our parents were gone. And I did an aerial, which is a cartwheel without hands. You whip and you just, yeah, sideways flip basically in cartwheel position. And I did it and my heel caught the table, this little ornate three, three, um, three table on like Victorian thing looking deal on three legs and it broke it, tipped it over and broke the table, my heel catching. So Doug put it back together, like I said, so I wouldn't get killed. And I told him that story. And, and they said, yeah, he, he had already told us that story. We want more. I'm like, oh, well, I got, I got, I don't know. And, um, that looks cool. So I don't like this edge right here. So I'm going to have to fix it. I said wonky's fine, but this wonky is not fine. Cause look, it's just, it, it's, I gotta work on that. So anyway, um, they were like, tell me about this and tell me about that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. So now I got to regale them with more stories. I got to write to them and give them more information. Um, it's very lopsided and I'm not liking that. So I'm going to come over here and make this more lopsided. There. Now it looks more like a splotch. <laughs> I'm into splotches, yo. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. We'll just we just I want balance in my in my in my whimsy. You know? I want some balance in my whimsy. Um 
get this. So I gotta write the girls back and come up with some more stories. And uh, my granddaughters want more stories. They're like, Grandma, tell us stories. I'm like, I, what kind of stories do you require? I don't know. It's funny. Um, I think I placed that there. I think I kind of like it. And um, yeah, I think I kind of like that. And um, this should be timeline wise here because this is at the beginning of the song of course and these lyrics come after but here's the deal i go for aesthetics i don't go for logic i don't go for reason i pitch it right out the door where it belongs <laughs> and i go with what's pretty and what works for me is him on this side angled this way more this way and him here this way so there you go that's my reasoning um okay so I like that. I like it. Let me look up through here and see if I like it. Because when I look on camera, I'm always like, wow, <clears throat> it looks different from a little bit of a distance. And through the lens, it's like, ah, oh, that's off. This is off. Thus, the final squared and the final cubed playlists and videos. Um, I want this more up like these uh, this more like this and I want this not all tipping over jewels I always do that I swear now the blue's gorgeous don't really want to cover it let's just try different things there's that there's more up this now looks like it's something, it's raining black balls of whatever are down on his head. So we're gonna pull this back down a touch. Um, overlap it this way so it's not floating, so to speak. Now everything looks tipped. Something needs to not be tipped. Okay, okay. I cut off branding strips, right, 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 right. Okay, now. These pictures are up higher on the page. Is that problematic? Maybe. Um, of course, it's going to catch on torn paper. Don't want one kind of up because that's kind of up. And one kind of down. Maybe, maybe, baby. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Kind of like that. Um, and then I could do some journaling str Hey, I could cover the wonky edge if I were to do this and bring the flames here, more or less. Like a dot. Yeah. But now he needs to go up more here. Don't you think? Like a this. What do you think? I think, oh my God, this. Mm -hmm. Or should I keep them kind of where they were, kind of more side by side? Uh, should this, or, <laughs> it's endless, dude, dude, just make a decision. Just do it, make a decision. More like that. What do you think? Can you just tell me? Let me look through here. Oh, it's pretty balanced. Me thinks. So now that I move that, now I kind of want to go like a dot. Yeah. Like that. And then, now what? Where's the title? What is the title? Where's the journaling? I can make a pocket in the back, tuck it in the back, and there you go. Um, I like it like it is. Yeah. So, my journaling gets lost. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, move these guys out. Move this here. Put your scissors here. Put your pick here. Um, yeah. Okay, what I should do before I write journaling is I should place everything where it is. Don't you think? Let me show you a trick you can do. You want to see some tricks? This old girl knows some tricks. Okay. Get you a glue dot, yo. Right? Get a glue dot. We'll see if this works. Usually it did back in the day when I was a spry young thing. <laughs> oh, 
good. Now, now, what, like, okay, now, <laughs> I'm gonna, I gotta get up. Okay, I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna line it up where I want it, this strip, and I'm gonna. I'm going to adhere it at one end and then it'll with a glue dot and it'll give me room to maneuver and then I can adhere it with other normal methods at the bottom you know so I got it lined up where I want I'm gonna go can you see me I'm gonna flip this up I'm gonna I guess I'll do it on the paper because it's easier to easier to rub in you have to burnish it or you're going to be here half a century just so you know getting the backing off the glue dot but you know alas okay and then just put this down okay burnish it a touch now that guy's there now now you're done now you can move this around a touch you can swing it move it because it it gives you some room to play so now i'm gonna probably do a line of this because I've, it's a thin border and I wanna be able to move it and line it because I've shredded it. So it's a little bit rumpled and crooked. So if you put down glue, little tiny thin strip, you got some more room to move it around and mush it about and get it back in shape because I've got it a little mangled from the tearing. So now I'm gonna line it up, probably just bring it down to the end kind of adhere it here at the corner where I know it's semi in line and then go back through. See how it's rumpled and it's been stretched a touch. I should be able to, with the glue, get it tamped down pretty well back on the page and get it exactly where I want it. Did you know that? And then if there's some overhang, it looks like there will be, I will just merely cut that sucker off. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm moving it back to the left to see exactly where the edge of that paper is. I gotta get it over a touch. So if you use this glue, you got some time to get it where you want it. And I will probably have to clip some off the edge. Now, I like where this is. I also like where that is. I want that popped up. I also want it, but before I go there, I'm gonna glue dot down here. I'm gonna glue dot this, and then I'm gonna do the same method with this. Um, I think because I don't have any scrapbook.com stuff. I could just use this. I don't have scrapbook.com tape. I'm going to make them longer at the same end so I can just cut off the same end. So this is flush. And that's flush. Was flush. Might as well just do it the other way, Jules. Just stick with your same method. Don't mix it up. And that help your brain keep straight. That'd be it. <laughs> hey, that's the plan. Keep your brain straight. All right. So I'm going to do the same method. I've got this flush with the top. I'm going to pin it here. I'm going to brace it. I'm going to put the glue dot down on there. And I'm going to burnish it, so to speak, with my fingernail. So it'll release from this backing, pull up the backing. And then that's there. Um... And down here, the picture will adhere the center section, so I'm not gonna worry about the center section. And I might wanna tuck something under there. Now this end, I'm gonna lift and just use this glue. Um, back in the day, I only used glue dots. Now, um, I don't as much, and yeah, there's overhang on this paper, and I'm gonna be cutting some off, and it's fine. So I can maneuver that and make sure it's flush at the top. Let me check it. Okay. I may want to pop things up, which is, and I may want to ink edges, which is why I was like, secure the basics before you go there. Because just keep it sequential and then my brain can handle it. If I don't, um, I get lost, you know. I get lost in your eyes. Okay, glue dot, glue dot, give me some glue dots. These are large Zots, BT dubs. You know, they still make these Zots. <clears throat> I don't know, don't ask me, I'm asking you. Okay, so I like to tear around the border to expose just mostly 
reduce the amount of stuff around the glue dot so I can get more precision for application. I know my glue dot is right at the vortex of this, you know, you know, that probably didn't make sense, but that's okay. It's okay. You just watch what I do. You do what I do. Okay. Do what I do. Don't do what I say. Never, <laughs> never, never do what I say. I saw, it was so funny. I got one glue dot sticking here. It's okay. Um, I fight them just like I fight with everything else that I have to work with. I just got to persist, fight. And um, most times I come out the other side. Now, sometimes I'll do like this and put the glue dot up on the paper. And I can really seal it on one side to the paper. And then from that direction, I can pull usually and it'll release and stay on the dang paper. And I'm going to do this side too so the whole dang thing doesn't swing around. So I make a little, I kind of carve out, tear out my little glue dot in some regard on one end. So I know exactly where the dang thing is, right? So I'm going to hold it. And I know my glue dot is right here. So then I'm going to tip it upside down. I know my glue dot's here. I'm going to hold down this section. I'm going to lift. This time I'm going to put it directly on the paper because I have to. I have to this time for reasons of physics and such. Okay. Now, these are all adhered. Yes. Don't have to do the middle section because I'm going to put pictures on that. Oh, I like the way that looks popped up, but I'm going to use this. <clears throat> Pardon on the end. A little strippy, strippy here. If you're not sure where to put it here, lift up your piece and just put the glue up under the actual piece. Because sometimes you're not sure once you lift up your piece where exactly to put the glue. And um, so then just put it on the piece. This one should be simple because it's pretty broad. And I do have my mat down with measurements and lines, but I'll just show you. Okay. So now these guys are in position. This is not, <clears throat> I think, I think I'm going to do the glue dot. Well, wait, you know, you know, it'd be really cool. It'd be really cool if I matted each picture in orange. But that just makes more work, you know. But you know I want to do it. Oh, no. Why do I have to create more work for myself? You know? I don't know. Close your Epson. Let's see. Let me find some various shades of red and orange, shall we? Let's have a gander. Um... I'd like to go no brighter than the brightest on Chamel's um, thing because oh, I'd like to go no brighter than that. So let's get that out because that was in the running for the lighter one in the stack. What about this one? Is that the same color? It looks a little darker. Is this darker? It's a little, it's a little darker. I don't like this one though. Oh boy, I kind of like this. I'm going to um, I'm gonna try it before I do any more gluing of things. No, no, I'm not. <clears throat> First, I'm going to glue, then I'll try the matting. Let's carry on with the making sure the things that are down that we want down are down. Um, that's what we're going to do first. I use this a lot of times when I can't, when I'm at the wrong angle, to line things up. Now, since there are border strips here, I'm going to want this exactly flush on this side. So you go here. I want this absolutely flush on that side because these pieces are a little long. I want this trio to end up where it was, like it was, but I think I can pull that back together in some manner that resembles the original placement. Do this. Okay, so if there's overhang, I'll cut it off this side. I don't want overhang on this side because it's going to be, I'm going to have a border strip that I want aligned exactly so. You know what I'm saying? Same with this guy. So, get this exactly right. 
My dad has a favorite song of Michael's and he's always like, what about this song? What about this song? I'm not going to say the title because I don't know. Um, he's had it written for, he wrote it s at least seven years ago or so. And so I'm not going to say the title because I don't know when he's going to release it. But it's a ballad and it's stunning. And it's my father's favorite song that Michael's written. And my dad keeps saying, what about the song? What about this song? Why don't you play the song? Why don't you release the song? And I'm not sure what Michael's response is. I need to ask him. I need to say, they, by the way, the most beautiful song you've ever written, are, are you going to release it? Um, that song, um, his producer, Andy from Australia, Andy. He's got quite a few Andys in the industry he works with. Andy um, heard that song and said, oh, that's a ripper. I can't do an Australian accent, but Michael can. He, and he said, that's a ripper. Like, rip your heart out song. And it is. And it's not a love song, but it is a ballad. Think leader of the band. Not really. Fogelberg it's not, it's not, just think that sort of a feeling that's kind of around the lines of his song. Uh, and, and Andy said, that's a ripper and his Australian accent. I kind of like it without the fire over there now. Great. Anyway, and told Michael that he had a big country artist who was touring at the time. This was 2018 big name, country artist. He said, let me pitch it to him. And Michael said, no. He said, I, I want to sing my song. So, um, he's like, this guy, this guy will sing it. It'll be a hit. Let me pitch it to him. Michael said, no, thank you. I, I, the, the song is near and dear to his heart and he wants to sing it. But why it's on the back burner is anyone's guess because that song will rip your heart out because it is a universal theme and it's not a love song. Like I said, it's just, it's just, it's a ripper. Um, okay. So got that, that I need to get that. I want to pop that up. Now I, let me look through this because as I'm looking at this now, I kind of like this without these. You know, I kind of like it just like that. Oh no. You know what I could do? I could put this down lightly with glue dots and are there more strips I could tear? And if I don't like it, I can remove it. If I later think I liked it better without it, I can remove it. I know this wasn't the position of this, but I'm more, I don't want to take up so much of the background paper. So I'm trying to tuck it together to not do that. Oh boy. I'm liking it like that. Okay, bring this back over here. Um, I'm gonna wanna pop all that up. I wanna ink edges and I'm gonna wanna map these three pictures in orange. So, so. Oh, our flames don't go high enough to cover that. Okay. How did we have this? Was it like, this and this, surely I had this, the black in the center to separate the two orange, surely. Um, now I want this back down a touch. Okay. Okay. One of our favorite musical things is um the movie have you seen the movie somewhere in time with christopher reeves and what's her name um british actress uh jane seymour it's an awesome um movie and it's a ripper it's a ripper i can't do that accent anyway i'm just checking to see if these are too far over i'm gonna do this Maybe I could do this there now. 
Anyway, when his grandmother died, my first, my former mother-in-law was awesome. I loved her dearly. We were incredibly close. She said she was closer to me than, than to her own son I was married to, their dad, and her own daughter. We, she was an amazing woman. And when she passed away, um, the balance is too heavy on this side. When she passed away, it was very sad, of course. And Michael and I were together. I don't know. The other two must have been in another car with their dad or the rest of the family. I don't know. But Michael and I were alone and we were driving. I was driving. He was, this was in 2000. Anyway, he said, put on, put on, so 2000, yeah. He said, put on the um, soundtrack for somewhere in time and we can just play it and cry our eyes out. And so I did and we drove around listening to the Somewhere in Time soundtrack. Rachmaninoff, I think, is the whole or some a portion of that soundtrack. And the soundtrack is gorgeous. And the main song is so stunning. So we did. We cried and cried and drove around and played that song. And um, got it out. Got it out. I actually wanted this higher so I could have journaling room. So it'll balance once I get the journaling down there. And let me move that one more time just to see. Yeah, I think I want it there. Um, what is this one from? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I moved it a long time ago. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. Was this here? I think that was there. And I think this was here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm covering my flame. The whole point of ripping it like I did was to show the, the flame course. Of course it was. Um, no, this needs to be on this side. The black. So we got out the crying to somewhere in time. Um, soundtrack. And we've gone many times on rides, just driven around forever to listen to music together, Michael and I have, and um, talk about lyrics, and uh, we, we do music. Anyway, Michael's song he wrote, one of the compositions he wrote um, when he was living here recovering from a horrific motorcycle accident he had, he wrote a gorgeous score, and it's stunning. It's along the lines of Rachmaninoff. Just stunning, I hope. But but I was going to say, I hope he puts it out, but with um, producers and stuff saying, that's not your genre, well, what is he going to do, you know? Not put it out because it's not his genre? Don't get me started. Okay. I'm going to have to turn this to get a hold of that, aren't I? No, I can turn my body and get over here. I can get over here and do it. Yes, I can. I'm glad I didn't glue the center. There, I like more white. Yay! Okay. You just mess with it till you figure it out. That's all I got to say. I don't need more black over there. Um. I knew I wouldn't like it there, but I'm just, just checking it out. Okay, so one, two, three blues. Did I have this over here somewhere? I'm not sure now, frankly. I'm just not sure. I don't want to cover his name, because hello. Um, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's not like I had it. I know I had these positions somewhere through here. I realize I could also tuck this up under here and have it leaping from here, so to speak. You know, why not? 
Um, I can do that. I don't know if that looks absolutely ridiculous. Does it? Yeah. Maybe not absolutely ridiculous, but maybe not exactly how I want it. Let's just go with that. Um, what if I were to do this? I'm just, I'm not, I, I don't really have a purpose. I'm playing around to see what I like is all. I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't have a vision of what I'm trying to accomplish right now with this. I'm just playing around. I know I had three strips of flames over here at one point. And now I don't, I can add more, but I was just trying to see what, what this would look like. cool. I like it. 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 Now, if I do journaling though here, I'm going to, I'm going to want these more over here. Dang it. You know, I am, you know, like more over here. Because journaling, you know, I know what I need. You know what I need? Water. I need water. Okay. Woo! Where's that? Where are my strips of that? Where are my strips of that paper? Mm. Did I use them all? I think I did. Oh, no. I got head into a new sheet. Okay. So, I want... I want, I want more, I want more. So, this how I'm gonna do this. All right, where are my glasses? Helps when you have them on your face, when you're doing close up things. The reason I did that is because I wanna line up my flames with the bottom edge. Um. So I need a straight edge. Now, I do want to preserve this on this side. So I'm going to work on this side. Okay. Where am I going to start tearing? Well, let me use this side to figure it out. Because, okay. I got that side preserved. Put it back in the floor. Now, I can't have tall flames, though. Not from this section. Um, and that was kind of what I was aiming for. I'm just going to do this. Okay. First. Uh, that needs to be pointed. Duh, obviously. Okay. Now. Um... I don't have anything tall enough for that guy. Okay. That was all absolutely without a purpose, wasn't it? Because I want something tall enough to cover that. That's okay. I kind of like this thicker looking area down here. I think that's kind of cool. Um, I don't want those two tips. Chamel taught me that. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. But we have this. But that's okay because we got all sorts of splotchy color here, there, and everywhere. I think I'm going to commit to this border. Um, and I, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So let's do it. Do a little bit of, come on. Recently, I've been having trouble with these Tombow deals. You know why? Because they've been um, plugging up or drying up or not as, it's very strange. I can't really identify what's going on, but they've not been working as well as normal. And I've ordered a few recently and I'm about to not order more of this. Usually it didn't let me down. Now it's let me down. That's a very thin strip in spots, so I need to hover near the edge. And I need to drag it back around this way. Hello. Put the 
this down, maneuver this slanted a touch, pulling on it so it gets back over. Okay. There. Like a dece. We got. Um, don't like working with glue. I don't. It's not my favorite thing in the world to do. However, when you need it, you know you need it. Okay, give me a alcohol wipe up on the occasion. I gotta get this off my fingers. How long have I been talking? Ooh, we gotta go. All right, you know we gotta do a part three because you know we do. I'll see you in part three.